There is a collection of stories that I have been intrigued with and have told several stories from the uh, collection from time to time. Uh, they were written by Rabbi Edward Freeman and are included in a book called Friedman's Fables. Rabbi Friedman is a, was a practicing rabbi and also a family therapist. They are provocative questions which require uh, a great deal of thinking on the listener's part. This is one of those stories. When Billy was about six years old, he drew his first picture on the bedroom wall. His mother discovered it and rather than get angry with him for defacing the wall, decided not to stifle his creativity. And so she said nothing. She did give him some paper and crayons and he began to draw on those. And she noticed uh, after a while that his uh, he was getting a little bit better, at dry. they were all human figures, he was getting a little bit better on the detail, but then she noticed that all the figures were lying down, none of them were standing up or sitting up. He puzzled by that. And she told her husband what was going on. And he said, well, that is puzzling, but like you, I don't want to stifle his creativity. Then as time was, went on, he continued to draw figures, human figures, all lying down. And they began to get more detailed, but then she noticed, the mother noticed that if he drew a face on a figure, the eyes were always closed. And she told her husband about this, and she said, it doesn't look like the figures are sleeping. I think they're dead. Well, this disturbed both of them, and the father thought, well, I'll, I'll talk to Billy, but I don't want to upset him. And so by this time, Billy was almost seven years old. And the father went into the room, and Billy was busy drawing figures, and he said, Billy? Um, your figures, uh, they look like, some of them look like they're dead. And Billy said, oh yeah. He said, why? Why is that? And he said, well, that's just the way I see them. But they decided, the parents decided that this was time for some professional help. They didn't want to disturb him, they didn't want to cause any problems. And so they arranged for an interview with a child psychiatrist. So one afternoon they dressed Billy up, explained to him that they were going to take him to meet a nice man who wanted to talk to him about his, his drawing. And Billy politely agreed loved his parents, they treated him well, and he was a very polite kid. So they arrived at the appointment and the psychiatrist excused the parents and so that he could have some time with Billy. And he engaged the child in some harmless conversation uh, and then said, I understand that you like to draw. Billy said, oh yes, yes I do. He said, well I've got to do something else for just a little bit, so I'm going to leave you. Here's some crayon and, and um, paper, and I'll leave you to, to do whatever you want to do, and, then, and there's some toys there if you want to play with them. And I'll be back in a little bit. So he left and joined the parents behind a two-way mirror, a one-way mirror. And he, they watched. 
Billy drew for a while. By this time his drawing had gotten to the place where some of the figures had um, broken bones. He had included a red crayon and so it was pretty obvious that some of the figures were bleeding. And of course some of them had their eyes shut. And then after a while he looked around and saw the toys and there were toys that could be taken apart. And he would take a human figure, a toy, and take off its arm or its leg. The psychiatrist watching with the parents said, I think we have a serious problem. Uh, let me go talk to him. So he went back into the room and, and asked Billy how he was doing. Billy said, fine. Are you enjoying drawing? And he said, oh yes. He said, Billy, your parents are disturbed about your drawing. They think maybe you're angry. Uh, are you angry at anything? Are you angry at them? Billy said, no, I'm not angry. Uh, and why should I be angry at my parents? They're nice to me. They take care of me. I love them. The only thing that would make me angry, I guess, is if they wouldn't l allow me to be what I want to be when I grow up. The psychiatrist said, and what's that? And Billy said, a doctor. That's a good story. One you'll have to think about.